Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I'm obviously not in my normal YouTube setup. I am here in South Korea. Just a disclaimer before we start this video, I'm here for work and I'm also here with my sister and to take a break from my mental health. Korea is one of the safest countries to be in right now. Um, a lot of people have given me some feedback and criticism about traveling, which I understand uh, why they would feel that way, but I will say this, that South Korea responded to the COVID pandemic right away, right when it happened, literally the day after the outbreak happened. They responded very, very quickly. There's a lot of laws in place. There's a lot of rules that you need to abide by if you do want to enter into this country, which I am happy to abide by. Um, unfortunately, the the United States did not respond as quickly as South Korea did so um, actually this country is doing really really well a lot of things are opening up curfews a little bit later than it was before um, however it is still very important that I stress in this video that um, I know that I'm in a position where I can travel and I feel very very privileged and lucky to do so yeah I just want you guys to know that I I understand if you're frustrated with me traveling, um, but so many of you guys have been really understanding for me. Um, again, like you guys have been my number one supporters. You mean so much to me, so I thought I would just say that before we start this video. But that's not why you clicked on today's video. You guys clicked on today's video because you wanna see what's inside of my bag. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also make fashion TikTok videos, style hack videos on my TikTok, as well as here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram account, so please come follow me there. I know I'm talking really fast, but I just wanna get straight into this video, so let's go ahead and do it. So this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Like, I've been obsessed with this bag for as long as I can remember. Um, I love this bag. I know that people have had issues with this bag, but I have no issues so far. When I purchased this bag, I made sure that immediately I also purchased um, bag inserts. There's a lot of websites that sell uh, handbag inserts for designer bags. This one is by a brand called Samorga. Um, they're just these little pouches that go directly into the bag and they're categorized as well on the website of like what bag you have. They have ones for Chanel medium flaps, jumbo flaps, you know, um, Louis Vuitton bags and um, you just kind of slide it in like that and of course the speaker the announcement would go off right when I'm trying to film a YouTube video just I'm actually just gonna pull the pouches out because it's much easier for me to show you guys what's inside keeps it nice and organized and um, it also uh, just makes my life a little bit easier because it, it kind of takes away some of the stress that I have about like oh am I getting stuff inside my bag you know is it is it dirty or anything like that no it's nice and clean because it keeps the suede like just you know it doesn't take up too much space either which I appreciate um, but these are the two pockets here in the first pocket I have my sunglasses um, my sunglasses I wear all the time I love my sunglasses I just think sunglasses are a bag essential it's a must-have um, they're a little bit dirty right now these are the Ray-Ban octagonal or hexagonal I'm not exactly sure what style they are but um, I really like this style a lot and I feel like it just looks good on my face I feel like it's actually looks good on like a lot of guys I feel like so um, if you're looking for a sunglass to get your man's then I think this is a great one uh, I've got an external battery pack and a like four inch charger um, I don't like those huge chargers when I carry my external battery pack so I purchased this one on Amazon all of the links to everything I'm featuring in my bags will be down below but when I travel it's essential for me to carry an extra battery pack because while I'm here in Korea I do have two phones I have my US phone and an external like another uh, old iPhone where I have a Korean SIM card in it so um, it does take a battery if I use hotspot so that's why I have this external battery pack I haven't gone out anywhere I've still been in quarantine so I haven't actually like taken this bag outside in the shops and all that kind of stuff I have not um, I've just been inside and this bag has actually been inside her dust bag which oh right here I brought the dust bag too I have a hair tie I get so upset when I eat and I don't have my hair tie it just makes me so angry then I have a hand sanitizer this is by the brand raw sugar in eucalyptus tea tree I have never smelled a hand sanitizer that smelled as good as this one it smells like a spa it just smells so good I could not recommend this uh, hand sanitizer enough to you guys um, the next thing I have is the Brazilian kiss um, lip balm lip butter in by Sol de Janeiro 
This is huge and so unnecessarily big, honestly, but um, it's a really good lip balm and I do really like it. Not too waxy, not too um, wet and like slippery. I just, I like the consistency a lot and I love the smell. I've got a, a pair of fresh gloves. These are brand new um, and I haven't uh, used them yet, but in case I do go out anywhere in Korea, like to the market or anything like that, I think it's just good to have like um, just a pair of gloves in your purse. Next, we've got Lysol spray. Um, I've got like a little itty bitty Lysol spray just to go. Um, you can find this at the travel section in Target. They have these. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing it, that's where I got it. Um, and then this is also a Target bottle spray, but in it is antibacterial um, facial spray. It's like a facial mist and for your face and your nose. It came, came in a huge bottle that my esthetician gave me and um, I just poured it into this little travel size bag, but I spray it into my mask. I spray it into my mouth. I spray it all over my face. It's just like antibacterial and it's um, fine to use on your skin. I have a I have a mask in here with my mask chain. One of my students, so if you guys don't already know, green is my favorite color. And one of my students, my youth students, um, she made this for me actually. She's so crafty, she's so talented, and she made this for me and I wore it all throughout my airplane ride and I just love it so much. I think it's really, really cute. Yeah, and it goes well with my nails too. I, I like that a lot. And then um, I have a pen and my wallet. This is like my passport wallet that I like to carry when I travel. Um, my passport never leaves this wallet even when I'm at home. Um, I know it's like an agenda, but it's the size for a passport, honestly. Um, so my passport is my passport is here. And then um, I've got my cards, all my business cards, cards in here. And then I've got uh, just some notes, paper. I've got some cash back here. And then I've got, oh, I've got some Korean cash in the back as well and then I also have a few of my branded stickers cuz you want a sticker I'm that lady I'm just like you want a sticker and then I've got a little cross it, this was a very special cross cuz I've had it since high school a pastor came to our high school and um, shared a sermon and gave this all out to everybody and I've kept it ever since it's a uh, really special to me and then in the very back compartment I've got a uh, another mask my cousin she's so great she um she made these little like half sheet uh not even half sheet like these little pa pieces of paper with um her mom's home address in korea um our like different hotel addresses our uh, airbnb address she just like made this for me and um sometimes i kind of like get really frazzled when a taxi driver is like so where do you want to go and then i'm like uh i don't wait one second and i like try to look it up on my phone so she made this for me so that i can just like tear it off and like give it to the taxi driver so thank you chian on the other best um and i keep that right in the back pocket of my purse and then in the very back pocket, I do keep my cellular device. Um, this will normally be in here. I also have my AirPods. They're right over there on my desk. I would normally carry it in here, but when I travel, like I like using like wire earphones if I have to like make a phone call when I'm traveling internationally. I don't know. I just feel like AirPods are like great for the office, great for when you're like at home, but not necessarily for when you're traveling. Um, but yeah, that's everything that's inside of this purse. I want to show you guys a quick hack before I complete this video. You can you can wear this bag crossbody or just single strap. Um, the bag comes with this strap here. It's just a monogram um, strap. But I wanted to show you guys a little hack in case you guys had another Louis Vuitton bag. Um, this one is from my Ava. I brought it with me because I thought it was really cute to wear this bag um, on a, if you guys ever wanted to kind of change it up. So you can like wrap it around inside the bag like that and then just clip it on to the other side. It doesn't clip very well if there's nothing in it. Um, it needs to have like it needs to be full for you to like actually get it to close. Um, but this is how I make it a shorter strap, you know, like purse, you know, if I wanted to wear it like this. Um, it's nice and kind of dainty and cute, I think, in my opinion. Um, you could potentially do it with this, but it's quite bulky um, when you try to do it like this one's nice and thin. Uh, I don't know, it, I really like the way it looks. I, I don't know, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. I don't personally plan on selling this bag. Um, I know that 
bags are investment pieces for a lot of people um, but for me like this one particularly I cannot see myself reselling just because it it's um, it's really special to me and um, my mom has given me a lot of her vintage Louis Vuitton pieces and this one just seems like something I would give to my daughter if I ever had a daughter I can't see myself reselling this one at the moment at the moment but you know who knows maybe my mind will change um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you enjoyed it with a big thumbs up and um, I am thinking about you all and I love you guys all so so much thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye